grocery shopping. Okay. Why am I showing you guys my weekly circular for the supermarket? It's because a lot of you guys don't make grocery lists. See this? Write it down. I'm writing down things that I need. This is a quick tip for you guys. If you don't want to just aimlessly walk around the supermarket trying to figure out what you need, just walk around and just buy things because you see it and you just want to pick it up. Just make a list. And when you make that list, you got to make sure you go in your refrigerator or your cabinets or pantry, whatever you want to call it. Look around to see if there's anything you need. There's always something that I always forgot. If you see you need it, write it down. That way you're not buying other stuff that you really don't need. You know what I'm saying? So quick tip, just write it down. So far I got chicken breast and bananas. And right here, cinnamon toast crunch. Look at that. That's my breakfast right there. Three for $8.88. Good price. And it's a family size. I don't know if you can see that. Get a little bit closer up there. Can you see that? Family size. So that's the big size. And you're going to get three of those for $8.88. So I'm going to do my little shopping. Um, this is probably going to be a little shopping that's going to last for a couple of weeks. Now, if you're on a budget, I get it. I've been there plenty of times where I need to save my money and buy only what I need. If money doesn't mean nothing, yeah, you go ahead and buy whatever you want. So right here, there's these frozen little bags here. They are one pound. So I'll buy a whole bunch of those because they're 99 cents. And that's a sell right there. So that's pretty good right there. So recently I started eating Greek yogurt. And right there is Greek yogurt Yoplait for a dollar each. Dairy specials. So that's not bad. And also if you want, you know, orange juice right here, two for six dollars at three dollars each. So that's not a bad deal. I normally don't drink orange juice. Every every once in a while I drink the orange juice, but I, I I really don't buy this type of orange juice because it has a lot of sugar in it. And I'm trying to stay away from sugar. Okay, so see this here? The Tropicana? That's 88 cents. That there is a really good price. So it doesn't say that there's a limit. So if you want buy a whole bunch of those um, you, you know people gonna probably look at you all funny and say oh man he's he's being greedy he's buying a lot so if you have this in your cart and you have like 15 20 of them you're the one saving money because I think the normal price for this is like two dollars and change that's a good savings right there and here also when you see something on sale don't just buy one buy two or three and if you can not buy four see years ago the supermarkets you used to put things on sale and they didn't have a limit. So when you went to the store and you bought something, and I got this tip from my, my mother's friend. I saw him in the store one day and he was buying, I don't know what it was, but he had a whole bunch of stuff in his cart. And I said, why do you have so much of that one item? He says, well, you know, if you see this on sale, you buy a whole bunch. Because when it's not on sale, I don't want to pay the regular price. So he bought, I don't know, maybe 12, 12 cans or whatever it was. But he saved a lot of money because he don't have to go back to the store and buy it at the regular price. So supermarkets started getting slick to this. They'll put something on the shelf and have a little sticker on the bottom. And the sticker will say a limit of two, limit of four, whatever. Now that's to stop people from buying the whole entire shelf. And now nobody else can get none. So if you really need to buy something that's on sale for that price, you buy whatever the limit is, and then maybe three days later, you go back and you buy it again. Or, you know, buy it there, take your stuff to the car, and then go back and buy some more. I've done it, and it's not a big deal. I mean, if you don't care about going back in the store just to save some money, just go back and buy more of that item that's on sale. You end up saving money regardless. And when you're gonna buy your meats from the supermarket, make sure you buy the family pack. Because the family pack has more meat in it, the price is different. The bigger you buy it in bulk, the less it is per pound. I try to buy all my food when it's big quantities of um, a portion. That way, it lasts longer. 
quick tip just wanted to share with you guys write it down write down what you need if you don't need anything else extra don't write it down don't buy it just go to the store pick up what you need and get out you buy what you need and you get out that's it see you guys in the next video